Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Many Republicans outraged at the FBI raiding Donald Trump's Florida home, vowing to wage war against the agency. This is Trump and his attorneys could have made details of the search warrant public, but chose not to. Next week, Sacramento City Council is planning to debate making it a misdemeanor to camp on the sidewalk. Supporters say it will lead to safer streets and better businesses, but people against the measure say the homeless have nowhere else to go. A new inflation report came out today showing prices are 8.5% higher compared to a year ago. It is high but better than expected. Gas prices are down 7.7% and airfare is also dropping. Food costs, however, remain slightly higher than last month. For the second time this summer, a shark attack was reported off the shores of Pacific Grove at Lover's Point Beach. Lover's Point Beach is now closed and the city of Monterey has also posted a shark warning at all beaches. A California man was rescued from a reservoir after falling off his boat. It happened yesterday at the Union Valley Reservoir in El Dorado County. A barricaded man armed with a sword and holding a woman and two children against their will was shot by police this morning after a seven-hour standoff. It started around 1 a.m. during a welfare check on a man who was reportedly having a mental health crisis. He was taken to the hospital. The woman and children were not hurt. Greek authorities were conducting a major search and rescue operation for dozens of people missing at sea after a boat carrying 80 migrants sank last night. 29 men have been rescued this morning. All are from Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran. A green ribbon cutting was held at Stockton's Chick-fil-A location today. The event showcased the restaurant's new solar microgrid system. The grid is powered by on-site solar panels, which also provide shade for parking and employees working in the drive through A Cuban oil location that caught fire last Friday is still burning tonight. A lightning strike hit the complex. One person died. Over 100 were injured and 14 firefighters are still missing. Meanwhile, it is the 90th birthday for Lego and they celebrate it by revealing a 94,000 piece Lego birthday cake. Lego produces roughly 100 billion bricks each year and employs close to 24,000 people around the globe. Those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.